Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back. If you did not know, I did say I was going to be on placement um, at uni, so that's why I've been that's why I've been gone, and I just have not had the time or the energy or the creative freedom to do anything. Um, but I'm back now, and yeah, this is one of the first of many tutorials. I hope you like this. It's pink and orange slave, very inspired by painted by Esther and Mahina makeup um, on Instagram. I love this look. Um, and I'm really happy the way it came out because it's actually quite simple, somewhat easy -ish to follow. We only use two eyeshadows. The products are the same as always, but they'll be in the description box. Make sure you share with your friends and your family. We're nearly at 6k, guys. Like, honestly, keep subscribing, keep sharing. I love you guys so, so, so much. Um, thank you for all the continued support. Make sure you like and comment and leave any suggestions in, this, in the comment section as well. Um, and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. What I'm going to do is take... LA Girl concealer in the shade natural which is really really light and a bit of like fawn because we're doing like a proper bright eyeshadow you need the eyeshadow base to be light I'm gonna do is set my crease instead of and not my lid because I want to be able to blend the colors into my crease like really seamlessly but i want to be able to pack on the color on my lid without it being dry and chalky basically everything above my lid and this is going to help us blend the colors the pink and the orange because only, we're only going to use two eyeshadows for this look the palette i'm going to be using of course for this video is the saharan blush palette volume one by Juvia's place simply because it has the exact pink and orange shades that I need and I know I use this palette in every single video but it is honestly one of the best things I've actually ever bought so I highly recommend this palette like highly. What I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna go in the orange shade which is called Toby and I'm just gonna start blending that into my crease and So what I'm doing is I've packed on the colour but I'm also blending out the edges because I don't want harsh lines. So what you can do is take the brush that has the translucent powder on and just go back on top um, around the edges just to clean it up. And I'm quite happy with the way the orange has turned out in my crease so I'm just going to start going in with the pink. What I'm going to do is start blending in the pink into my crease because you want to work the lid colour into your crease before putting it on your lid if that makes any sense. And you want this pink to be slightly below the orange not directly on top but kind of slightly below it because you want there to be a gradient effect so you don't want to put the pink here you want to put it here so that you can see both colors so what i'm doing is i'm literally just patting the pink into my crease and if you feel like you put the pink too high you can put the orange go back in with the orange and kind of just I go in with this pink if i feel like the, the orange is washing out and it's fading away you go back over the orange then you go back in with the pink then you go back over the orange you go back with the pink until you get a balance of both colors i don't want to take the color up too high because that's when you start looking a bit clownish i still want to kind of have that really nice light brow bone so now i'm happy with the way that it looks we're going to take the same concealer the la girl natural that we put on our crease on our lid again but just a little bit so buff the product on, the, on your hand just so that we can really place that pink on and it really is pigmented just like that and oh that looks quite nice actually you could do that and kind of just have like a nice nude lid or like a gradient effect can you see that's really pretty pink right on there just pack on the pink and it should be quite bright now yeah then just blend out that line because i put the concealer there it kind of created a line to blend out the edges i don't want there to be a line and i think that is done for now it's a very very simple eyeshadow it's nothing you literally use two colors so now i'm gonna do my foundation and i'm gonna be taking my usual combo maybelline fit me and ordinary um 
colors full coverage foundation um, in the shade pecan and 3.2 neutral i'm gonna apply this into my face um off camera and then come back the concealer i'm going to be using today is la girl concealer in the shade fawn and a tiny 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 bit of natural just to make it bright and i've cut the top of my concealer which is a very good tip if your concealer is running out and you can't squeeze it out the bottom just cut the top and just use the brush or a wand to scrape out the concealer So guys, the rest of this video is going to be very self-explanatory. I'm literally just going to smoke up my lower lash line with pink and orange, put lots of mascara on, lashes, blush, highlight, and lips, and that's it. I'm just going to speak through all of that because you lot already know.